Let me show you the automation blocks tool add random music from folder to active sequence. If you've got this tool selected, here in the inputs you can choose a folder which contains all the music files you want to use. And here you can pick the track, the audio track in which you want to insert it. Then with some sequence active, you run the tool and it first imports all the music from the folder you've specified here in your project if it's not inserted uh, imported yet so it will detect also if it's imported and then it will pick files from that randomly and insert it in this case here in the audio track too yeah. so if i delete this and run it again you can see this time it picked different files here a very short one at the beginning and now a longer one if I run again, each time you get a random selection of all the audio files. It will always use a full length, so I've got some very short files in here, and always trim the last one to the actual end of the sequence. This tool was actually a request by Matthew who asked how you can do this automatically in Premiere Pro in the forums. Thanks for this inspiration. Now this tool is part of the community library. This means it's not built in in the examples that come with automation blocks. What you need to do is you go here to the help, not this help because this is a particular help for this tool, but to this help button here. And now in the automation blocks getting started, you find here join the community and here you find links how to download the community library on Dropbox or Google Drive or GitHub. You need to do that. And there you find this, this is the entire community library, everything you find here. And here in the folder sequence populate, you find the at random music from folder to active sequence tool. You can load this directly by clicking this button, or if you want to use it frequently, you can put it in your user library. This is what I did. So you can go here on this menu and go to preferences. And here you find the location of your user library. So typically it's automation blocks PR library in your documents folder. And you can open it here with Windows Explorer or macOS Finder. But what I did, I downloaded the entire community library from Dropbox and just stored it right in here such that I have all the tools I need from the community library right here in my library. After you copy the files there, just restart automation blocks and you will find them there among many other tools. See add random music from folder to active sequence tool. Last tip for customization, if you always want to use a particular track and always want to use a particular folder and not each time you select the different tool and come back here, you can see this is reset to track one and no music folder chosen yet. So you can just go here to the scripting code. So this is a full scripting code of this entire tool. This is just how many blocks it takes to import the footage and insert it in the sequence randomly and all of that. So here is just the documentation and a link to the forum post. And here is where the actual code starts. And here you can enter the default value for the music folder. So this line creates this music folder input here and this line creates this track index. And if you want to go for a default track index different to one, let's say two, you just put here the default value and then it will always be loaded with two as default value. Similarly, if you here always want to pick a particular folder, one great thing to know is that here it always lists the most recent folders you've picked. Yeah, so you don't need to choose always a new one. You can just pick one of your recent ones here. And if there's one you want to use all the time, you can just copy it and paste it here as default value. So if you've got here a particular pass, then it will be always populated with this pass. And finally, also here you could configure your project bin that you want to use to store your music. So currently it is by default set to the folder music, which is then created in your project. So all the music is imported here. If you want to go for a different folder, Let's just create one here. Then can you can just select this and click here on refresh and then it will insert the text here. And now next time you run the tool, it will insert your music in this bin instead. So that's how you can customize the add random music from folder to active sequence tool in automation blocks. Mm -hmm.